Hey everybody, it's Christy Consler, executive coach and founder of Sustainable Leadership Advisors. We help motivated professionals lead with great purpose, passion, and performance. Today I want to talk about a topic that is very germane to what's going on in the United States, and that is surviving a change in the CEO. So the United States is about to get a new leader, and statistically, companies, over half of companies every four years change their CEO. So, uh, so what's going on for the country is what's going on in a lot of companies. And I have some thoughts to share on how to survive a CEO change. So first, it's important to know that when a CEO comes from the outside, 30 to 40% of the executives will be fired right off the bat. And it makes sense. CEOs usually come in with uh, a group of people that they have worked with before, they are proven entities, uh, they can trust these people, and so just be prepared that the statistics are not necessarily in favor of the leadership team that is staying. So no matter what, you need to have a current resume. Whether you decide you wanna stay or not, you need to really be able to take stock of what are your accomplishments? What have you delivered? And make sure that you are current on that. You wanna be prepared for the worst case, but even best case, if you decide that you do wanna stay, you'll need to be able to share that in a succinct manner. So it's a great time to review all of your accomplishments and, um, and what you've achieved, the results that you've delivered. So once you have an updated resume, the second thing that you need to do is decide if you want to stay. Now, you may not buy into the leadership vision of the new person, and if so, it's a great opportunity for you to move on to something that's a better fit. If you do decide that you would like to stay, or at least give it a shot, here are some thoughts on how to do that. The first thing that you need to do is observe the new leader closely. Specifically, what is their vision, what are their priorities, and what's their working style? You need to know all three of those things in order to understand how you can best help because step number two is helping them succeed. Put yourself in their shoes. They're coming in uh, oftentimes from the outside. There's a lot of pressure on them to succeed. So don't sit back and wait for them to come to you. Be proactive. Figure out how you can help them achieve their agenda how you can help them show some wins early on. The data shows that most CEOs make a decision about who they're gonna keep on their team within the first two months. So you can't rely on your reputation that you had in the prior leadership team because CEOs, especially new CEOs, they will rely less on what people tell them. They'll be a little skeptical and more on their gut. So the more that you can proactively demonstrate that you want to help them achieve their agenda, the better your chances of being able to stay on and help them lead that forward. And then the third tip is be present, be prepared, and deliver. Be present means don't take vacation, for example, in the first 60 days, because you need to be visible and you need to be helpful. You also wanna be prepared. Make sure you know all the facts about the business that you're driving and really brush up on any issues, be forthright about those. And then you need to make sure that you deliver results because the pressure is on for a new CEO in the first 100 days to deliver. That means that they need their leadership team to deliver as well. Now, this advice holds for whether it's senior leaders or junior leaders, it's just that you really need to focus on these things in the senior leadership positions. That's where the majority of the turnover will happen. But in a junior role as well, you'll want to do these things. You probably just won't have as close a contact. I hope today's video served you. If you liked it, like it, share it, and come on over to christyconsler.com and sign up for our weekly leadership newsletter. Until I see you next time, go out and inspire yourself and others with how you lead your life. The world needs your leadership. Thanks. If you'd like more in-depth strategies that I share with my executive one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, sign up at the link below for our free webinar, The Five Steps to Getting Your Ideal Executive Job.